So unfortunately, I got interrupted in the middle of that. Um, so the part two of this video <laughs> begins now. And yeah, so the girl I had dated during those years, uh, unfortunately, was this amazing blonde, blue-eyed, amazing girl, brilliant child prodigy, uh, smart girl, but unfortunately the excesses of New York got hold of her and uh, she died. Um, and I, I went through a very, very long, hard period. But I remember when um, one day when she and I were, uh, were still together, she passed away after I uh, dated. Uh, one day I walked into the classroom and Michael Hannafin, the teacher that was teaching me this, uh, the, this literature, uh, was showing the 16 millimeter film of Long Day's Journey Into Night. And I remember walking into the classroom and my dear, dear, dear friends, Brent and Charlie, were like gasping because they knew that this was almost my story. Um, and I watched the movie uh, in that dark room and, and pretty much uh, cried throughout the entire movie. And when the lights went on, I rushed out of the room quickly. And ironically, that night was one of the worst nights I'd ever had. Heidi and I were out all night long, and it was very yucky. And she was actually waiting in the car until I got out of class. So it was a very kind of uh, ironic and, and harsh moment watching that movie. And it took me many, many years to track it down. But now I finally own it on, on four giant reels. I cannot believe how massive. Uh, this film is. Um, but yeah, now I finally own it and I'll be able to actually, uh, I'll be actually able to uh, air it someday, although I don't know if I'd be able to handle watching it again on 16. Um, so who knows if I'll ever be able to actually handle it. Uh, but there you have it on four giant reels. It's amazing how many reels these movies came on back then. Okay, well, I'm going to sign off, say goodbye to all of you guys. Uh, thanks for watching this. Uh, this is one of the more personal ones and kind of dear uh, to my heart because like I said, Hannafin had inspired this museum. He took me to my first speakeasy. He taught me tons of literature and got me into antique books. Um, and I still have this novel sitting over here. In fact, I'll show you my copy of it, uh, which should be sitting here somewhere nearby. Uh, it's not near enough. Uh. So this is my copy of the book that I still have from when I was at NYU. Alright, bye guys. Thanks. Bye.